Hi, it's Miss Janet. It's the end of the year art lesson until September. Okay, I, I made it fun. Usually I make things fun, but this time it's really fun. It is, we're going to make flip-flops on the sand with water. And you're gonna do it. You're gonna be able to do it. It's not hard. I'm gonna show you, okay? Okay, what you're going to have is, I'm going to send you this. I'm sending it to your parents. It's a template, you know what that is. We've used them before. You can use this, you can cut them out. And I'm gonna cut one out. not the greatest scissor in the world. I could have done a better job. Okay. So, you're going to cut out the, the bottom of the flip-flop. And then, you have all this paper around it. You're going to cut a strip any thin, a thin strip like this. This is good. And then what you're going to do, I don't know if you'll see it, if John can show this, you can, you put it down and you're going to fold it over like this. So now you have like an upside down V, right? And that's going to be the straps that are going to go on to the flip-flop, okay? So, next, so you get your markers colored markers and you put any design you'd like you could put stripes you could put flowers i put flowers you could put stripes and flower you could put any design you want anything and so once you get that all done you're going to start designing this so with this you leave it like that in this folded position and then you start designing both sides like this. So I'm just gonna use one color right now, so. Okay? So say this whole shoe is done. So what you're gonna do then, you get glue, you're gonna put this where your, your flip-flop, your toe goes there, and you're gonna fold these back underneath, like that. So you're gonna glue right here and glue the back. You're gonna leave these to stick up so that it looks like it's three-dimensional, like mine is over here, okay? So, you put those, you do two of those since you have two feet, and then you take a piece of paper, and now you're gonna make the water. So, I have my watercolor here. You could use regular paint, I don't care. I use watercolor because watercolor looks more like water to me. And you're gonna go over the page, most of the page with water. I added green, I added blue, different color blues. Let's see, I have another blue here. So, and you go along and you go down the page and as you can see, it's not difficult. And I'm gonna do a couple more strips like this, okay? And so, now we have it here, mostly down, toward down to the middle of the page or longer, okay? Then I'm gonna take the white, which we rarely never use the white. We never use white, but this time I'm gonna use white and I'm gonna flip the white and put water on it and flip it right on the page with your wet brush. You're gonna make a mess, but so wherever you do this, put paper under it or something. 
so it kind of looks more like water. It will dry like this. It will look like that. So next we get, you can go to a hardware store, maybe you have any kind of sandpaper. I'm sure that there are some in your house somewhere or you can go to a hardware store and buy it. I bought a very coarse sandpaper, so I thought it looked more like sand. So then when this watercolor is dry, you're gonna set your sandpaper over here and you're gonna cut off the part that you're not using. And then, what happened to my scissor? Aha. Uh -huh. We're going to put some edge on this sandpaper so it doesn't look so straight across. Like, you know, we want to make it look more like sand. Okay? Like, that's fine. Just a little edge. Doesn't matter. Okay? So now this is gonna be cut away and this is gonna be glued down to the paper. But make sure you leave enough room for the sandal. The sandal has to fit on the sand, okay? So that's it. You can do whatever designs you like. And I didn't bring my glue here to show you, but this is glued like this. You can have your parents help you. I'm sure that they'd be happy to help you, okay? So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I still miss all you guys, but I'm sure I will see you back in September. And we'll start again. It will be a new start. And... I will see you then. Some of you I might not see because some of you are leaving, but I will speak to your parents about that and say goodbye. Okay, Miss Janet is signing off. Have a great summer. Stay safe and be healthy. Bye.